Pennsylvania working tonight to figure out what caused a bridge to collapse in Pittsburgh early this morning. This was just hours before President Biden arrived in the city to talk about infrastructure investments. This collapse now reigniting concerns about the bridges right here in our own communities. Our I-team spent several months analyzing data from the State Department of Transportation. It shows roughly 10% of the bridges in Erie County are considered to be structurally deficient. Many of these bridges are ones you use each day. Reporter Michael Schwartz joining us live now under one of those bridges, the stretch of the 190 that runs over Peabody Street in Buffalo. Good evening, Michael. Yeah, Ashley, that bridge is used very often because it is part of I-190 that arches over here where we are standing on residential Peabody Street. And from here, you can see the cracks, the crumbling concrete that exposes that rusted rebar. Now, at first you question why the conditions of the 65-year-old bridge, but the New York State Thruway Authority tells me it was inspected three months ago and it is safe. Every day in Buffalo, thousands of vehicles travel on I-190 South, passing over Peabody Street, unaware of the wear and tear that lies beneath. Cracking concrete and rusted rebar throughout the aging bridge, but the State Thruway Authority tells me even though this bridge is listed in poor condition, that does not mean it's unsafe, saying, quote, every bridge located on the New York State Thruway is safe for travel. We still have 80 to 100 structurally deficient bridges in western New York that need to be addressed in one way or another. On Friday, Congressman Brian Higgins acknowledged the need to address bridge conditions after one collapsed in Pittsburgh. That bridge also listed in poor condition. This is the kind of stuff that can happen. It can, in particular, it can happen here in the Northeast. You see our weather puts a tremendous stress on concrete, on steel, all the things that are the substructure making up the bridge itself. The State Thruway Authority says it has invested $326 million in infrastructure since 2016. Congressman Higgins said President Biden's trillion dollar infrastructure bill will only help with necessary upgrades. Either repaired or replaced. And this will give us uh, the resources to do this. You can see the wear and tear that it extends throughout this entire bridge. Now, the New York State Thruway Authority, which manages this bridge, told me that it was last inspected on October 20th. It is a more than 50 page report, but it cannot be released to the public due to security and privacy information. But rest assured, 7 News will be foiling for that information so we can see the full report in our continued in depth coverage of bridge conditions in our area. And Jeff and Ashley, I just uh, met a driver who passed by. He said he's been here 65 years and he hasn't seen anything change in these conditions. In Buffalo, Michael Schwartz, 7 News. Michael, just with the context of the day, I'm just going to ask you to step out of the uh, bridge area, get away from that. That would uh, be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Right now on WKBW.